subconscious I hear Monty go, uh... <laughs> With the... Ah! 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 ah. Who has disturbed Ooh, my... Uh... Oh, hey. Hey, We're what's here. up? <laughs> Hi! Didn't see... Hi! <laughs> didn't see you there. Hi, Vsauce here. <laughs> Hi, what? Vsauce here. What is the... What is the... <laughs> What is the what is the force of a super mutant's punch? I need to know for purposes. Hi, Vsauce, oh God. Michael here. <laughs> Amazing. Exactly how big is their second knuckle? Well, let me tell you. Oh. By looking. Hi there. Hi there. Blue, the master from Fallout One here. No one's safe. <laughs> I'm, I see you, chat. Hello. Oh, oh, hello. No one's well, oh, well, hi. <laughs> Somebody returned to us after 10,000 years. <laughs> 10,000 years gateway. Well, I figured gateway would be 10,000 years 10, at least. 10,000 so. <laughs> years gateway. The number one show on YouTube.com slash The Unexpectables returns. <laughs> yeah, 1,000 e -E. years gateway. My favorite Seriously, like I, I, I was looking back. It has like some of those episodes have hun like a hundred thousand views plus. I'm I know. Yeah. What's yeah. happening? It's kind of what insane. Happened? I was literally with Caitlin at lunch, and I said, "Have you seen those numbers?" She, 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 she was like, "What?" She was just like, "Oh my god!" I was like, "I know, right? I know Some, what's happening." Something I can't is yeah, something is going on with that. Cause, I like, can't the, believe the the amount like all of the other statistics don't add up there. So, no, like I... something happened. I can explain it. I can explain it. Todd Howard talked about us. Oh. Did, yeah, did he really? Yeah, no. Uh, I got really excited for a second. It that make was sense. so easy. I lowballed that. <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> but yeah, like, oh, yeah. It, 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 like 150,000 views on a few of those videos. But then like the likes wow. are still in like the mid, like the the mid to low like tens to maybe upwards of a hundred range and like the comments are like i read the comments i like i like looking at the parts that people yeah. like and talking about stuff so if you're watching this on youtube say say hi and and tell me your favorite part of this episode yes like more comments we like. We like i still it. my still my favorite comment is just that random person who was like i fell asleep and i woke up this on what the fuck am i listening to <laughs> And all these people were like kindly like, oh, it's this and this. And like, oh, I guess that's cool. I don't know about the five hour time limit though. It's just like, aw. You know that you know that just means that like our that, that like our next Saturday show just needs to be Starfield. It's space. Go nuts. It's very Bethesda y. Apparently. I'm I'm hoping that there's like one dead moon that you go to and it's just a giant Todd Howard shrine. Welcome to the Temple of Todd. It just works here. You Knowing him, he would lean into that so hard. It would help <laughs> if I had the microphone set to the right microphone. True. Man, oh. this episode is just, who oh boy, spiraling out of control, and I haven't even acted yet. All right, yeah, he ha the apex hasn't even started. <laughs> Do you want to know what I realized while I was like uh, just doing stuff today? What's I've that? been working like a mad fiend today. I've been working since seven in the morning. Twice God the damn, nap. dude, on a Saturday. Oh my! Oh my. Uh, Do you want to know what I realized? Was that uh, the we Caitlin hasn't told us where we could find her and what she's up to? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh fuck! They're, move, they're moving the train along. Way to go, Amtrak! Yeah, we're only uh, thirty good minutes job, late. Good job, good <laughs> job. Hey everybody! Hi, hey, hello. My name is Caitlin Elizabeth. I'm back <laughs> after like a while. Uh, you can find me all over the internet at Boobs McBalrog here on Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash Boobs McBalrog with zeros instead of O's. I'm going to be playing more Street Fighter VI, which I picked up while I was gone because I went to Evo. Uh, <laughs> and got a fight <laughs> stick there because I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, and I uh, I intend to start playing some more 
fallout with Cynthia soon. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what, what, oh my gosh, what's happened in the last couple months? Um, for those of you that are excited for Rune Factory 3 special, uh, I voice Karina in that. Uh, I am very excited about my lovely lady. And then it looks like a very cute and chill game. It, it is. And she's a very wanting to sleep person all of the time and also relatable not do jobs um, ever. So I just really relate to her a lot. Um, I understand. How, <laughs> how do you relate? <laughs> I, I, right. Um, just being wanting to sleep all the time. That's true. Also, uh, because, oh my gosh, I haven't been on in a hot minute. So also if you're a Fire Emblem Heroes fan uh, and you saw Aether, uh, the sweet, sad little baby child. Um, I voice her as well. So I'm, I am now three Fire Emblem Heroes characters, which seems wild to me. And I played my first concert. Ooh. Um, Ooh. Yeah, I had a live show. Um, which you do first... stand-up? No, not yet. <laughs> okay. Um, no, I played bass and did backup vocals for the first time in like a decade. That's um, sick. And for whatever reason, Daniel Kwan was there. It's so Who's cool. Who's he? The, the director oh. for Everything Everywhere All at Once. Ah. Wow. What the shit? <laughs> that's pretty crazy. I was so crazy. surprised. I was like, well, I don't understand what's happening. I would plot. <laughs> Thankfully, I didn't know before we played, but after we played, he was there with his son for some reason, and his son really loved us. So uh, we ended up getting to hang out with him for like an hour, which was oh, wow. my brain. <laughs> it was really weird, but great also. His child named me Peanut. So um, I'm <laughs> how, how, old is, how old is their child? He's like 34. Four. But <laughs> oh, wait, wait. No. You know, I kind of was he's expecting four. older as well. Is he really? Or are you just playing? No, he's no, actually he's four. Well, yeah. was, wait, what kind of was it? I'm confused now. Uh, he was there. He was there. there when we were doing a line check. So it was like before the concert actually started. But we were also the opening band. So like the, the, it was kind of like a barcade restaurant that has Thai oh, nice. food. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, really so cool. they they were there to get dinner, and um, it just he just happened to be there when we were doing stuff. So Sounds anyway, like sorry. Aw, that's so sweet. That's so yeah. Sweet. Good job, Peanut. Really what a wacky yeah, turn of events. Way to, yeah, way to go, Peanut. For real, though. <laughs> uh, oh my god. What else? Heavenly Delusion? Did <clears> I talk about that? I don't believe so. <laughs> no. Nope. I'm in that. <laughs> I voiced uh, Mako... And um, uh, Takeuchi in that, which, uh, oh, oh my gosh. And also My Happy Marriage. I, um, all of the episodes that are out thus far, I have adapted. Uh, and Oku, The Inner Chambers, I also adapted. You have had uh, a hell of a few months. It's been really busy. So it's been kind of a wild Welcome time. back. And it's really great to be back. Hi, everybody. Okay, I'll stop talking. We have other people to talk. <laughs> I had to catch up for like two months. I'm sorry. I'm back. That is, that is true. Mm -hmm. But now we got you back. Yeah, and the fun the begins. Oh, yeah. Rise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, things have, things have occurred. Hmm. I'm worried, but so should you be, maybe. <laughs> hmm. Or not. On that note, you know, Lanny, <laughs> where can they find you? And what are you up to? Well, it has been a heck of a day today. I have some things to tell you. Uh... For those that enjoy Dragon Ball Z Abridged, check out Totally Not Mark's review of the Boo Saga, as uh, we at Team Four Star have produced uh, close to a half hour worth of what we are calling Boo Bits, and he is going to be sprinkling oh. those through his Majin Boo review. Uh, we also intend to release them as like shorts and TikToks and stuff, but you can find the first half of them now live on his channel. Uh, might do something more with them in the future. Stay tuned. Uh, if you want to hear any updates, check out Four Star Bento and the Team Four Star YouTube channels and all the social medias. Uh, we also have commentaries of the Dragon Ball Z episode or yes. abridged episodes going up. Today it was v Vegeta's downfall, episode 52, where he gets bitch slapped by Cell. It's a fun time. And we had this beautiful little moment in the beginning where we're talking about how each of us have become good performers. And I... Told I, I set the two of them straight, Kaiser and Taka. I told them, you guys have been great from the start. Stop comparing yourselves to everybody. Good time. 
Other than that, I'll be playing some more Baldur's Gate. And tune in on Mondays for the Ties That Bind on twitch.tv slash Uh There is a murder mystery a goings on. Some sorcerers have been murdered. Suspects have been identified. The killer has yet to be caught. And there's political intrigue abound. Join us for the mystery and potentially we'll solve it this Monday. On twitch.tv slash Lanny at 5 o'clock central time. That's everything for me for now. Right on. Up next, we got Rabbit. Where can they find you, and what are you up to? Oh, in what earthly realm can I compare to this? Stop <laughs> comparing yourself to people. What did I just say? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You're uh, a beautiful person, Rabbit. Tell them all the wonderful things that they can find on your channel. Oh, dude, you're gonna love this. All right, so I stream. I can you can find me on uh, Twitch TV and YouTube at Hey Mr. Rabbit. Uh, that's H-E-Y-M-R-R-A-B-B-I-T. I stream Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. I stream horror games, uh, retro games, and RPGs. Uh, my current fav- and uh, my current favorite uh, horror game right now is one that Sarah suggested called The Forest of Drizzling Rain, which I'm also has a so manga. Happy. It's so good. It's like it's like a Ghibli film with a horror swing. It's really nice. Ooh. I that sounds intriguing. I must look this up. Um, and it's so good. Uh, and, uh, man, there's been some crazy shit in the world of Rabbit, I gotta tell you. My current obsession is Sea of Stars. Uh, every day where I'm like, I have some spare time, I'm streaming Sea of Stars because it is the best fucking retro RPG I've ever played that comes from the guys who made Messenger. And, uh, guess who got a press copy of it from the developer? Nice. Me! I... Ooh. Almost exploded. <laughs> You're so cool, Rabbit. I, I, I'm cool now. Congrats on making it to the ins influencer sphere. It's so cool. Uh, so far, I think like 20 people have told me they're buying it. So I'm like, <laughs> um, and uh, it's it's so good. It was so great. I was trying to tell people that they, uh, that like I got a press copy of game and no one was around. So I DM'd like four people, no one got to me. So I, I felt like, know. so I felt like the monarch from like uh, the Venture Brothers, and he was there at like Venture's lab, and no one was there. So I was like running around, going, "Where the fuck are you?" <laughs> so like I uh, I had to call my mom, and I was just like, "Just just stay there for two seconds to tell me." My mom didn't understand what the fuck was going on, but it was. But like, I'm sure was she was very excited for you. She, she was very excited for me, and so was my sister. So was my sister. Uh, my sister actually watched my stream the first time for forever Aww. for the first time I played uh, Sea of Stars, which was amazing. And that was fun. Other things that I'm up to um, uh, is uh, I've been working since seven in the morning today, which is why I took a little nap. That's why uh, that was a snafu I had, because I was like, I was like, man, I need to take a shower. And then after I took a shower, my bo my body was like, hey, 38 year old, you're 38. And I was like, I don't know what you and like I passed out. Uh, but um, I'm good now, and I'm full of pep, vigor, and energy. And uh, what I was working on is I was working on uh, six pieces of art for a friend of mine. And depending on how good those pieces of art are, uh, I might actually start doing art streams, right on, uh, mm. which are amazing. And, uh, uh, and another thing I've been doing is I've been messing around with a music program, and I've been writing music. Uh, I have currently wrote the lyrics for three songs and I was recording one of them this morning. Wow. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And also doing my, uh, and also uh, uh, workshopping things for a stand-up bit because one of the things I want to do uh, this year is I want to once again go ahead and do a kind of like an hour stream somewhere, uh, so somewhere around the bend. Uh, it'll be a rabbit staple and it'll be about uh, just this uh, stand-up bit I've been working on because I've been writing material for about an hour and uh, it starts with one of my favorite jokes uh, which is more of a statement going children shouldn't belong in breweries you decide you decide what that's about hmm. uh, only one and way to find out. It, yeah only one way to find out it's twitch twitter and uh, YouTube at hey mr rabbit and also in the world of the unexpectables because uh, we were doing things every other week and whatnot. Chell and I, Chell and I have been doing a great, oh, a great many things to go ahead and keep the hype going. And I have become kind of an unofficial hype man, and that was that, that made me feel really good. We uh, we did rare reels uh, about uh, one shots, 
uh, for uh, the Unexpectables. Uh, yeah. The first campaign. And uh, Chell and I also have a lot of things in the works uh, for um, uh, for this uh, for this and that uh, about the Unexpectables and the people in the channel. Uh, we're doing something. Uh, we're doing something simple. And um, lo long story short, it's a short form thing. Uh, I thought it would be really fun to do in the style of Conan needs a friend. Just interviews. Just interviews of uh, just interviews of just various people uh from the unexpectables and uh we we got we got bosco we got bosco on the hook for that uh but maybe we might do more of that stuff in the future and i'm super excited so yeah things are coming all up rabbit which was really cool and really unexpected um, uh, unexpected yeah! unexpected bulls um, uh and I'm um back. and uh yeah that's uh pretty much all that's going with me right now super exciting super exciting stuff super exciting stuff right on next we got sarah where can they find you what are you up to Hi, you can find me on Twitter and YouTube at Sarah with an H and with an E, Willia. Uh, <laughs> I spent almost the entirety of August sick. It uh, turned into COVID at the end of it. Maybe it was COVID from the beginning. I really hope not. I tested it was negative. Anyway, oh, God, I'm so happy to feel normal-ish again. Happy for you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I mean, yeah, it's, uh, uh, I, yeah, well, yeah, I can talk about that. Uh, on the shilling side of things, uh, Wild Card Shuffled is going another six volume. I'm going to be voicing Selena Cosmo in that. I'm excited because this is a very different role for me. I, I got that call back and I was like, hey, what? <laughs> I was like, why? Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, this is happening. So I'm very excited to see, to, to get to try that because I don't normally get to do that kind of character. Nice. Um, yeah, I mean, well, yeah, we've been doing the Thursday streams because that was something I could manage. And I'm so happy that Rabbit's liking Force of Drizzling Rain. That was literally it's so good. That was literally you just being like, you're sick. You can choose the game. And I'm like, can we try this one? I really loved this one way back when, when the, like, the RPG maker style horror games were high and nigh. And I was just like, oh, this one made me have feels. I was like, I, you know, I was like, oh, dear God, it's got horror in it. I swear to God. It's getting there. But, ah, oh, it's so nice to see the remake. It's really good. Nice. Uh, yeah, it's about all I can think of. I've been cleaning a lot. F actual Phil is here. He's downstairs enjoying the lit. Actual Caitlin. Phil. Caitlin, you you don't even know how clean this place is right now. Oh my god, really? I it, well because of the whole <laughs> COVID thing, he requested a a lot of uh, disinfect disinfecting. I disinfected the hell out of this place. That downstairs bathroom is still nice and clean for the most part. Oh my I, goodness! I, I, I it's so clean. <laughs> And I, I even disinfected the banisters for fuck's sake. Ooh. Oh my god! I, mm. I just you must really like him. I even bought I bought this air stuff that you spray into the air. Well, yeah. <laughs> there was like, oh, was, shut up. Is he listening? Yeah, there he is. I knew he was listening in. Hi, Phil. Like I, I bought this air stuff that you spray in the air and kills the germs in the air. So it's literally like air bombing rooms, being like spray, close, fifteen minutes later. I even sprayed my stuffed animals with fabric disinfectant. Aww. They suffered. So, yeah, that's me. Sorry, anyway. Uh, Connor, take it away. I am also prone to air bombing rooms. Yeah. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, uh, Twitch, YouTube, Blue Sky, and Tumblr at Distortion Devil. I'm pretty so sure Distortion places. Devil on, on all those. Yep. Had to expand because uh, who knows when the Musk site is going to explode. So yes, uh, I'm 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 waiting with bated breath. I I, I might I, I might actually just set a Deadpool for it. Like I'm just like, <laughs> place your bets, kids. I mean, if any of you got one of those blue sky invites, I'll take one. Uh, I'll take yeah. twenty. I, I think I've got one, so I can send you one as soon as we're done here. Well, if you want it more, Rabbit. I mean, I'm not in a hurry, but it's just that case. I'm just like, yeah, I should probably think no, about getting a new one. First, you take it. <laughs> you gave your word. Anyway, sorry, uh, go ahead, Connor. Yes. Uh, I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Ooh. Saturdays, and Sundays, currently going through Yakuza Like a Dragon. Been doing a lot of subquests in that. 
uh, been smacking some punks with purses. Isn't that uh, fun? Like you do. I, I I do love setting it on auto battle and then reading chat. Uh, I, I yes. forgot there was an auto battler. <laughs> mm -hmm. I huh. That makes uh, sense. Also going through uh, Detroit Human Revolution or uh, not Detroit Become Human Revolution. Human? It uh. Deus Ex Human Revolution, which is set oh, in Detroit, okay. which is currently on fire. So, it's you know, about, not normal. Be about becoming the opposite of human. Mm. Become cool. Ascend past human. Ascend to crab. Uh, yes. Uh, that's been a lot of fun going back through that game. And then when I finish with that one, I'm going to return to uh, a game I actually haven't beaten. Uh, which is Mankind Divided. Uh, yeah. Also, uh, I released, I released the, uh, the Geomancer's Spellbook recently. Uh, mm -hmm. if you want some spells for your 5th edition campaign that are, uh, Earth-themed, we got some metal, sand, uh, rock, all sorts of stuff in there. Crystal as the well. Mud Wizard. Become Mud Wizard, indeed. Uh, all that can be found right here. Wizard. Uh, the Geomancer oh, Spellbook. And then I'll be releasing the Fulgermancer's Spellbook sometime uh, within funny word. the month. Fulger? Yeah. Fulgermancer. Fulgermancer. <laughs> what if it did Lightning call Wizard? They could call it Fulgermancer. Ooh. Come at me if you need stupid things. I'm your boy. <laughs> Listen, if if you've got Fulger in your cup, then then you are in a dangerous situation. <laughs> you are in an active lightning zone. <laughs> <laughs> you are drinking ionized particles. Ooh, tingly. Mm. The best part of waking up is. <laughs> oh wow! Intense. Indeed. In your cup. <laughs> Indeed. Um, I believe that's it for me. Uh, this episode was brought to you in part by Die Hard Ice. Oh, God, I'm excited. Okay. <gasps> Gotta do it good for Caitlin. All right. Die Hard Dice! That's right. <gasps> yes. Die Hard Dice is your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories. And if you head on over to dieharddice.com, you can use the code UNEXPECTABLES to save 10% on your order. As well, Ooh. check out our spring store. We recently released the workout design. We're selling springs uh, now? Uh, it's, the shop is called Spring. <laughs> ah. I'm, yeah, I'm although fun. knowing, knowing them, they may like sell Milo. springs. They sell everything. Oh, you know there. what? You're right. I think that would be Ooh, a hilarious a, April Fool's joke. Get a fountain that looks like a tea fox. That'd be great. Mm. A little tea fox fountain. That would be interesting. Uh, get your hands on some new merch there. Uh, also, um, was that it? No, uh, oh. I can also say that I, uh, there's also a Unexpectables Blue Sky, uh, account now as well. Uh, the unexpectables.bsky.social. Uh, if you want to follow us over there, once again, Not in case the Musk site too. explodes. Uh, yes. <laughs> Yes. I got, a five, I got a five to one on the site exploding in four weeks. Mm. <laughs> I'll take those. Uh, okay. 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 I got one. I got one. With that, I think we uh, got some bits and subs. Yeah, Boobs and Balrog. Thank you 21 to Prime. I win. Woo! I win. I was first. I win. Uh, <laughs> I am the victor. It's me. Vince Smokes Sanji, thank you for the. Uh, 17 months. I'm all caught up. It took forever. Welcome. Oh my. Hello. Solar Misfit, thank you for the 19 months of Prime. Greetings from post-apocalyptic Oklahoma, where tornadoes are even worse. Very sorry. Oh, oh. Hey. Well, well, you're you're going to have a very immersed uh, session of, of Gateway. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Drago Soon, thank you for the 100 bits. Let's go rad racing. Hell yeah. Night Neptune, thank you for the 28 months. Let's go. Gateways back. Hell yeah. Impact Frame, thank you for the 38 months. Pseudonym McFake Name, thank you for the 39 months. 
This is TB. TB, Dutch! <laughs> thank you for the prime sub. <laughs> uh, the Air Sign Master, thank you for the 300 bits. Hey, Lanny, did the Apex take any inspiration from a comic book character called The Max? No, he's like if you uh, took Wolverine and then put him on the spectrum. That was my main inspiration, if I'm going to be mm. honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Also, is the Max that purple guy with the huge mouth? Uh, he always looked weird to me. No, I, yeah. I, I actually, I actually can't place who that is. I actually don't read a lot of comics. Some days I think that the Apex is actually just the Wasteland's version of the Murray from Sly Cooper. Maybe. The Murray. Oh, God. I, uh, <laughs> the wanna... Apex is ready to bust this super mutant in half. And I will. And did. Mm. Uh, Papusa Monkey, thank you for the 10 bits. Rabbit isn't allowed to say he isn't talented anymore because I can't do five out of the six things he did in his intro. Hmm? <laughs> 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 don't, don't compliment me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Benny Boy, 96. Thank you for the 27 months. Glad to have you back. Yeah. Magic Ninjago, thank you for the 150 bits. Fridays with Squeeze with Scree Squad, where plot goes, ah. Nothing bad ever happens in Crossbell. It, it? Uh, it, it, it's, it's true. Last time, half the city is destroyed. <laughs> hmm. Mm -hmm. Sario88, thank you for the 41 months Gonna have to catch the VOD My connection at work is horrible At least it'll keep my energy up for day 5 of 6 in a row Ugh, Say, geez, say hi sorry. on YouTube Yeah Game Master Ant, thank you for the 40 months Subs, subs never change brum, 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 brum. <laughs> And finally, Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the 500 bits Greetings from Nebraska Where we get these uh, Elephant high corn monsters All the time Corn monsters. I would eat that. Wait, what? Cobb and all. Hmm. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Well, with that, are we ready to get into tonight's episode? Yes. Yes. I've my mom is watching yeah. so long. All right. Let me get my voice on. Bye, chat. Uh, Bye, chat. I'll veep this in, chat. I'm not Let's actually going anywhere. I just won't see you anymore. Let's see. Ooh. Was it me? <laughs> Maybe I, I should have gotten more scented candles. I gotta refind all my sound effects and music. Oh, there it is. <laughs> you did it. What? Hello? Hi. Stop playing. <laughs> Comedy bearers. <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> Is it playing for you guys? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I hear it. Oh, hear for it? fuck's sake. No, I can't. <laughs> like, I was here. It, it, went, it went and started over like three yeah, times. Yeah, I keep Me. hearing you Me. stop and Me. start it. Oh, man. Well, unfortunately, me being able to hear it is the most important thing. It's true. Uh, what if Walt I could hear it? Mm. I know I always have to, like, swap between which one is muted and which one's unmuted sometimes. You know what? Let's go ahead and try that. I've got, oh, I've got it fire. open in Firefox. Oh, oh boy. Cat. It's just a oh, comedy of errors tonight. And they say they can't. Uh, excuse We're only me. Starting. We're only yeah, starting. I know. Caitlin, I, it's spreading. I know you don't hear anything because I don't hear anything. A cavalcade of oopsies. Every time I hiccup, it scares me. I swallow the air oh. and rip. Okay, I'm done. All right. God. When last we left most of the runaways, Apex the Wild Men, Alvin the Mechanic, Louise the Scavenger, 
Uh, a massive brawl broke out in the children's village of the Magic House. Blood, bullets, and briefcases alike went flying. Apex almost single-headedly defeated the super mutant mastermind known as Magruder in a battle for the ages. During the fight, Johan led a Brotherhood of Steel scribe who had then been a slave to the super mutants to safety before rejoining the fight. Louise downed some chems to give her an edge in battle as waves of super mutants continued to pour into the miniature village. Alvin boxed with a banker who nearly beat the brakes off of him, and Johan played baseball with the skulls of his kinfolk. However, all was not well. As the fight dragged on, Johan received a debilitating wound. Upon being revived by Apex, he began to change, growing to enormous size, large enough to destroy the rooftop above them all. Johan, in a fit of rage and pain, revealed himself to be none other than the enormous super mutant they freed from the arena. What? Johan. <laughs> all <Sorry>. right. <laughs> this is how she finds out. <laughs> Sorry, go, go. Sorry. Johan took the one surviving super mutant and left the runaways in order to make his dream of a society of super mutants a reality. Stunned, hurt, and exhausted, how will the runaways cope with this new development? Find out now on tonight's episode of Gateway. Oh, Drop that on me. <laughs> Lol. <just> <laughs> So, uh, Apex is currently with the scribe, pawing through the remains of that shattered village, looking for the uh, tags of his comrades, and maybe any cool extra loot that the boss that he, you know, killed had. Oh, so you're you're playing on uh, you're playing on the other browser now, but God, God uh, now God. it's on the other browser. Yeah. All right. Yes, you are. Picking through the the rubble, the remains of the uh, the remains of the battle that had just taken place, uh, b blood mixing with dirt and dust from the debris. Mostly, um, like he has just a very like stern face on, like he's just trying to parse everything that just happened. Yeah, Devin is there with a similar expression on his face. Uh, slowly picking through the rubble, looking for the hollow tags of the uh, of his uh, uh, comrades. fallen comrades. I lift up like a sheet of collapsed drywall to find the body that I was eviscerating earlier. See if he had anything else on him. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, as you as you pick through, um, you don't really find all that much. Uh, if you want to go pick through these bodies, uh, you can give me a wits roll, but it's going to be with difficulty, so uh, minus one on a wits. Sure thing. 2d6 plus two. That's an eight. Eight. Let's see what they had on them. Cool super mutant like him probably had something. Uh, you find a single microfusion cell. Which you would recognize to be ammo for laser weapons. I toss it to the cadet I'm with. Uh, he, he catches it uh, instinctively. He looks at it and nods in your direction. Thank you. You have more use for it than I do. Well, if I can find a laser rifle or a laser pistol, I might have more use for it, but I don't know where they put those. I point towards the completely destroyed building. Probably in there. He blinks a couple times looking at the rubble. Yeah, I bet you're right. How many tags have we been able to collect in this time? Um, Picking through the... Uh, also, I'm supposing Alvin and Louise might come back this way at some point. But. Yeah, they're, they're outside and they're 
huddled together right now. The both of you managed to find one hollow tag each. Oh, jeez. There's, to, there's gonna I be turn. one more. Do you remember where the missing companion was? They would keep us in a small room, lock us up into these small cages. And then occasionally they'd take one of us away and then the screaming would start. I don't know what they did to them, but my imagination threatened to drive me mad. They're dead now. They're at peace, and their attackers are... also gone. And I'm alive. And I gotta live with the fact that I couldn't help him. Maybe you still can. Maybe. I'm guessing, I'm guessing they had loved ones, families. You can live to protect them from whatever was unleashed here today. He sort of looks off into the horizon at the uh, the direction that Johan stormed off in. I don't know if I can against that. Well, then do what you can against the things that it leads. Mm -hmm. I will worry about that. You were... I stand up and I keep looking. You were traveling with one of them. What happened to him? He got really big and he wore a truck for a shirt. And then he destroyed this building. Oh. That was him? I look down silently. Flip over another piece of drywall looking for his final comrade's tag. Uh, make me a wits roll. Normal or minus one? Just normal, yeah. Ten. Yeah. You managed to find a soft uh, blue glow coming from underneath some uh, bits of uh, wood. And you flip so it over and you managed to find the final uh, hollow tag here. Silently, I grab it and toss it over to him. He, he grabs it. Yeah. I have and a lot to say to your people. Hmm. And I think... I think you'll have a lot to say to you, too. I nod and start walking back towards uh, where I knew Louise and Alvin had run to. Yeah. He, he takes a moment with the hollow tags that were gathered, and he will stuff them in his... Uh, stuff them into his shirt pocket, and he will uh, trail after you shortly after. I pick up the uh, super mutant overlord's head on the way out, my mm. trophy of victory. Alvin and Louise, you see the Apex and the Brotherhood of Steel scribe making their way out of the debris that was once the children's village of the Magic House. Uh, I'll hold up a hand to uh, to hail him. Uh, my other arm is slung around uh, Louise to 
comfort her while she's uh, kind of dealing with it. Oh, shit, finally. Feels like they've been gone for ages. Yeah, no, they've been gone just a couple minutes. Right, Turbo her, Withdrawal does that to you. Her head swings in your direction. She's like, wait, fucking seriously? Yeah. It's okay. Oh, God. She just closes her eyes. Oh, this shit sucks. Apex walks up very, uh, like, he's, he's got a very serious look on his face and just very point blank says, Are you good to move? Uh, it's up to her. Try standing up. You, you feeling okay? Oh, sure. Uh, do you want me to roll on that at all, Connor, or just... You're fine. Yeah, yeah, I'll be all right. All right. Seems she's fit to go ahead and hit the trail. I definitely don't want to fucking stay here anymore. I, uh, look to the scribe. Lead the way. <sighs> right. Hopefully and he... will be quiet. My armor's totaled, Apex. Mine too. I won't let whatever's out there stop us. All right. I trust y'all. Apex, who's, like... After all of that, hold on, what am I still sitting at here? Let me look at my stats. Oh, yeah, what do, I haven't looked. I am... Yeah, I'm still sitting at uh, three out of my five max armor, and I've only lost three health. So I'm uh, good. Yeah, I took a bit of a beating health-wise, but that was after I... That was before I switched to my other armor and gave, gave Johan the armor. He probably just split in half when he grew. That was I... my good armor. I gave him one of my stim packs, that ungrateful <laughs> jerk. <laughs> How dare I use things to move plot? Uh, and you begin to set off. Uh, let me go ahead. Yes, okay. Yeah, you begin to set off. Away from the large gray museum that is still mostly intact. It's a very large building, but... Uh, The destroyed roof of the children's village of the Magic House. Uh, the wreckage Johan left behind when he transformed. You begin to slowly make your way down an old, cracked road. Much like the building, whatever childlike wonder Apex entered there with is now waning. Just like becoming an adult. Uh... Sometimes things suck. <laughs> Sometimes you are the Frankenstein. Life's a bitch and then you die. Life's, <laughs> so, life's a bitch and then you uh, life's a bitch and then you unleash a kaiju. What is it you say? What is it you say, Caitlin? That rhyme. You mean the one I stole from Monty? Roses are red, violets, violets are, blue. are blue. You don't think it'd be like that, but sometimes it do. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Monty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like that the cursor on the magic house, because our cursor's right on top of it, looks like an M for magic house. I Okay. <laughs> Thank you, because I was so confused <laughs> of where the arrow is. I was like, I don't see it, I don't see it, I don't see it. I was searching everywhere, and I didn't understand that that wasn't part of it. You turn it upside down, so it's it's W for Wumbo House. Oh my, get out. No. <laughs> okay. I said it last, was day, day. I said it last <laughs> week, all we wanted was magic, but all we got was tragic. The M is now Massacre. Oh. Ah. Oh. Uh, well. To the barracks, yay! To the we'll barracks, travel. indeed. You begin to depart. 
And you head down... Ah, into the abyss. Into the abyss. Unfamiliar territory surrounds you. <laughs> oh we my god, I get, more fog of war. I get to be here for Uncover. I'm so happy. You sure do. Christmas. It's Christmas. <laughs> no, don't say Christmas. It'll thaw. There you go. Mariah Carey sings somewhere in the distance. Ah. No, stop. It's not time yet. <laughs> we gotta get through Halloween. It isn't even Godtober yet. It's true. God. That's happening next month. Okay. So soon. As you set off, you uh, go down some fairly humble looking uh, old neighborhoods that uh, didn't do so well against the ravages of time and apocalypse alike. Yeah, it would do uh, that to you. Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll do that to you. And as you continue to walk along the uh, you feel a, a slight trickle of water as the sky uh, slowly begins to darken over your travels and uh, not quite raining, it just becomes a little bit overcast. I hear the gentle patter on my mask. It just just feels weird on, on Louise's head. She's just like, she sort of shivers, just like, ugh. You should know, um, I don't know what kind of reception you're going to get at the door. I can vouch for you, and obviously your brother is a person I of looked import. At him. I don't believe I told him he was my brother. Uh, oh, did you not? No, I only just, said that I knew Paladin Dread. I have not revealed and, myself. Well, and then, that we were looking for him. The Rewind, then. Uh... If Paladin Dread vouches for you as well, uh, we can't exactly corroborate that statement, but uh, we're a bit uh, outsiders are generally not looked upon with much favor. As long as they're not looking to shoot us, that'll be a plus. That remains to be seen. But I'll do my best. Glares at him. Do you think we might at least get a warning before they do so we can just, I don't know, leave? Better to provide them with a warning. I hold up the super mutant overlord head. Mm. I'd comment about how cool of a fact that is, but I ain't feeling it right now. Yeah, I don't mm. know how much we can back that up, Apex, at the moment. Uh, I haven't I'm felt this no... haggard in years. Apex looks back. I'm in no mood for trifles. Well, if they turn us away, they're turning away our help. That's on them. I'll make sure they understand that, at the very least. That's the least I can do for you for saving my life and helping me find my comrades' tags. The Apex nods silently. All right. Let's keep moving. As you set off further... Past old buildings. You've been traveling for... Maybe... An hour and a half at this point. It's probably getting late. Yeah, it's... it's Slowly setting over the horizon at this point. The sun. Um... Scribe Devin looks back at uh, the group of you. Mm. I know you are eager to 
get there, but I don't think we should travel through the night if it's all the same to you. I look around. What are our surroundings? You uh, are in uh, what was once a, a fairly uh, a fairly old looking neighborhood. Uh, the surroundings around you are very flat. There's not really a lot of uh, stuff here that could be used uh to hide yourself. Not a lot of natural stuff, anyway. Uh, the houses are somewhat intact. Um, yes, which but one it, looks like if it rains would be okay in? You could you could probably easily find one. Uh, you're 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 just in a small neighborhood right now, but the your surroundings are are terrain wise not very advantageous. Should I, the need arise? Hey, uh, Pex. I look over to you. If you can swing it, see if you can't find anything that looks like a, like kind of a mom pop kind of garage or something like that. If there is a place where people used to get their Corvegas fixed up at or something, there might be some long shot. There might be some workbenches there. And if that's the case, my body aches real fierce, but I could probably swing working on your armor there. Hmm. I, uh, I'm going to do a quick wits check just to see, like, which house looks, like, sturdy enough or, like, which one looks like it's not inhabited by anything that might be sheltering out here. Do it. Just, just a quick scouting run. That's a nine. Nine? Nine. Uh, just from the outside uh, looking in, you can't really tell if anybody is inhabiting it currently, but you do see a rather sturdy looking uh, house painted uh, what once might have been white, uh, now given away to sort of a, a pale uh, brownish green just from the ravages of time. It's got a it's got a blue door on the front of it and the curtains are drawn. Not really a lot of uh, ways to look inside, but it it seems sturdy. But look, so it looks like it's actually a place that could be also like secure. Yes. The, it looks okay. it looks like you if you get in you could hunker Defensible. down for the night. Yes, definitely. Uh, I I point over to that building. Go set up camp there. I'll see if there's anything around. <sighs> I roll my arm. You want me to come with you? I look you over. Are you trying to hide how injured you are right now? Uh, my health seven out of ten, but my armor is completely destroyed. Any glance could take a look at that. And uh, I look at Louise. How is Louise looking? Uh, she's got six out of ten, and you know she's also coming down from turbo, and that sucks. You're welcome to join me. If you feel like, it, I, I, I look to Louise. If you feel okay on your own, I. What do you think, Starshine? I'll stay here if you want. I'll, I'll go with. It's just sitting there waiting for you guys is gonna feel like a fucking eternity. <coughs> <clears throat> Then I look at the scribe. We're going to check a little further ahead to see if there's a place with a workshop. You set up camp in there. We'll return shortly. All right. And he will uh, sort of cock the shotgun that was given to him by the super mutant mastermind. Idiot. Uh, in, what, in what turned out to be a foolish display. That <laughs> dummy. And he, um, he, he actually uh, enters into a, sort of a practiced uh, military stance and he uh, puts his back towards the edge of the door and he looks in and he uh, kicks the front door and performs a breaching maneuver and proceeds to sweep the room. As he does that, I just kind of like mutter as we walk away. Idiot just broke the latch on the door. Don't worry, I could probably find a brace for it. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> and the rest of you begin to wander around this neighborhood. And you're looking for a, a garage, you said? Yeah, like like a, basically like a garage. Any, like anybody that might have like a makeshift workshop or like a shack in their backyard. Or if possible, if we're at kind of like the edge of a neighborhood, like an auto body shop that would be at like the corner of some street. Um, let me take a look at where you are here. See if I can find anything that looks like what you're looking for. If not, just somebody's random neighbor, like, backyard shack would do as long as it has, like, a workbench in it. Less optimal, obviously, but... <sighs> mm-hmm. Uh... The houses here all look pretty uniform. They they appear to be of the same build, uh, probably the same uh, housing ticky. company. Stupid ticky tacky. Mm -hmm. Suburbia. Indeed. Uh, go ahead and roll. Uh, roll wits with difficulty minus one. That's a seven for me. Okay. Anybody else? Yeah, I'll take a shot at it. Sure. Five. What is it again? Which it's minus, minus one. one. Oh. Minus one. And, ah, okay, so plus one. That's seven. Okay. Uh, Alvin, you're tired from doing all of that. You're. You don't think you've ever been more tired than you are right now. Maybe after the arena. Uh. But, but you were unconscious for some of that, uh, even, so... Mm-hmm. I'm feeling yeah. real punch drunk. Oh, yeah. Um, as for Apex and Louise, you do manage to find, uh... What looks to be, like, a chain mesh gated, uh... Section on one of the houses, it's sort of... Used to be like a seafoam green, now sort of a, a very sickly looking green. Um, the uh, outside of the gate is held in uh, with a padlock. I break that. Okay, I roll can't imagine up. that whatever's holding it is going to stand up to a death claw gauntlet. Roll body, regardless. Alrighty, twelve. Yeah, easily. Like butter. Fortunately, the the death claw is is known to be quite thorough uh, when it comes to its uh, killing ability with its claws. Nature's greatest murder machine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and after a little bit of hacking away at the padlock, you manage to slice through it, uh, and the gate opens, and you find a, a little a little garage. It's it's not. Really nothing special. Um, but you do see a workbench and, and tools that look to be uh, uh, in disuse, but probably would still work for you. Serviceable. Yes. I gesture. All right. We don't got a whole lot of time, but I could go ahead and try to patch stuff up real fast. I will... Uh, unhinge like one of the last hinges on my uh on my work harness and it will just fall over in a heap <laughs> <laughs> it's not completely will, busted and i will scoop it oh no these are st louis machinist work harnesses they will outlast me if i take care of them <laughs> <laughs> you're not even the first person to wear them Boss man's just like, don't worry about that. Just scrapes off the decal and just writes it on real fast. Yeah, I'd like to go ahead and do a uh, patch job uh, on uh, my armor and anyone else's armor, if you'd uh, allow me if I have the time. Right on. Remind me what that, what that does again. So can we fix the big one where I need a lot of time to fix stuff? Uh, but patch job is the one that says if something becomes damaged while it's in the field, you can attempt to patch it up, and I roll smarts. And our result of 10 or higher, I can restore two armor to an object. Seven to nine, I restore one armor. Uh, and on a result of six or less, I, I kind of screw it. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So, since your armor... Full gar- since we have a full garage, do, does he maybe get an, uh, a bonus to it? Uh, you do have a garage to work with, and there there are some materials in here that you can utilize. So I will say that it will negate the penalty uh, that you would have gotten because your armor is completely destroyed. Okay. Okay. So this will just be a smarts roll for you. What works well for me. All Who's right. you working on first? Oh, mine first. Mine's completely, mine's completely bofed. At right. this point, it's more of an in- a raider instinct to keep myself going. Uh, Louise takes- will just sort of park herself in a corner because <laughs> her armor is not what's busted. It's her body that's busted. So there's nothing a- to do- fix her on. Apex is just looking out the gate that we came in through, making sure that nothing's following them. There are no hostile entities in the surroundings. I'll, I'll try to keep it quiet just in case there's mole rash or something. All right, that's an eight on my armor. All right, then you restore one armor to it. Well, I wouldn't say she's fighting fit, but she's back together. I hand you my uh, Meyerlurk King gloves, or got like whatever the hell they are. They're bracers. If you have any epoxy, <laughs> Wonder Glue. It's the uh, it's the wonder gluey here. Let me see that. Mm. And I just tiredly take the, uh, <laughs> not even knowing the catchphrase for wonder glue. I will try to. <laughs> yes, I believe because you're yeah. 13. And how much does that restore Two. two. All right. Two. I'm back to full armor. All right. Louise, I, let me I take a look them, at your kid. If I you put them on and adjust it, uh, adjust them. Hmm. Yeah, like keep, keep them on, flex them a little bit. That way, the epoxy can go ahead and bind to the bend of your hand. Louise waves her hand. The ar- the armor that needed fixing went with Johan when he grew. This one's uh, fine. Oh, sorry, I'm so damn exhausted. <laughs> nah, I'm just bummed out about it. I really liked that armor. I was looking forward to using it when we went to. You know, the other super mutant place. Uh, <sighs> Raider rule number three, hon. It's a mm. big wasteland. There's more armor out there. Yeah. As you mentioned, Johan Apex stands up and just says, we should get back to camp. Right. Okay. Yeah. I'll need a lot more time to do some real field work. But thanks for this. At least gave yeah. me 10 minutes. I, I, I look at you and just like with a level of concern that you don't see very often in his eyes, I just say, you need sleep. Uh, I can keep watch. Don't worry. You need sleep. <sighs> yeah. Sound like some people. I get you. Kind of sound like boss man, honestly. You need sleep too. I need to think. All right. But if you need it turn off, you just go ahead and pat my arm when I'm sleeping, all right? Mm. Promise uh, me that. I nod. I will all take right. first watch. All righty. Come on, y'all. Let's get back. That big fireball is going to go down soon. And we start heading back to the house that we left the scribe in, which hopefully is not filled to the brim with horrible things that ate him on entrance. <laughs> Devin's, just, Devin's just outside going, there's terrible things in there. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, uh, th- there's, there is a death claw in the basement. Yeah, yeah, I know what you were going for, Con- I know what you were going to go for, Connor. Cock shotgun. House terrible is haunted. Things. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you managed to make your way back to the house with the blue door, and, uh, you, uh, the, the door appears to be shut when you, uh, return. I open it. As you, as you try to open it, it, it sort of, uh, it hitches a bit. Who's I there? Push- the apex. Oh, 
Uh, hang on. And he, uh, you hear footsteps approaching the door, and you hear something heavy being uh, pulled away from the door. I open the door as the barricade is removed. Mm -hmm. You you see uh, inside Scribe Devon setting a uh, uh, a hefty chair on the floor uh, that he was presumably using to barricade the door with. Area is secure, I take it. Yeah, I looked around. Uh, didn't see anybody or anything taking up residence in here, so... Yeah, I think we're good. And feel free to relax. Rest. You need it. <laughs> Louise scoffs. <sighs> yeah. Try. <laughs> Rest. You finish that water I gave you, Starshine? Oh, fuck. It wasn't even... She, she looks down, she's like, oh, I haven't even thought about that. Um, she, she sheepishly, like, uncorks it and, like, no, well, not corks it, screws it and takes a swig. Sorry, I was preoccupied. Yeah, finish all that and get to bed. If you start feeling like you're having a coffin fit, wake me up, all right? I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna sleep. Feels like my head's buzzing. It'll, it'll come to you quicker than you think. All right, now I think I'm shutting down for the day. Now I'm closing up shop. Uh, and looking around the house, is there anything like a half ruined uh, couch? Anything? I'll take anything that looks even remotely soft. Yeah, this uh, house looks to be uh, the the furnishings inside, though uh, they've sort of degraded over time. Uh, you're usually pretty sturdy. If you've ever found yourself out in the wasteland and you needed to go bed down in a house, the furniture usually stands up to uh, your body weight. So yeah, there are couches, beds. Uh, yeah, there's there will be a couch, and then um, a, you'll hear a heavy thunk as just Alvin just lets his uh, power fist just... <laughs> lightly fall off his arms and then just onto the ground next to the couch and he'll just flop down <laughs> and just uh, just try to get some rest there. Yeah. Uh, Devin will, will find a bed and as he sits down on it you see the tension in his body fade rapidly and he slumps down and almost immediately falls asleep. Uh, Louise was like looking around at her options and she just sort of she looks very conflicted. Like she can't figure something out. Ugh. Hey, Arshan. What's up? Sort of holding her arm. Can I, um... Shit, I don't got it in me to be coy. Can I just sleep with you? Alvin will, uh, take some cushions from the couch and flop them down on the, uh, floor. And then he will very tiredly flop on some of the cushions he'd laid on the floor. And then pat some of the spare cushions. Come on. <sighs> she just immediately just curls up. She's like, thanks. <sighs> well. It's not no front neck plaza, but. No, I, I um. I, I realized it, um, back on the boat. <laughs> what you wonder about? When I used you for a cushion, it's the, uh, it's the best sleep I've gotten in ages. I guess I just uh, like sleeping next to you. I guess shut up. Uh. I like sleeping next to you too. 
<laughs> sort of, it's like, uh, I don't got the mental capacity for this shit. I'm just gonna... Yeah. Coming down off a hard drug bender. <laughs> just sort of, just sort of buries her face in your chest, just like, oh, fuck. I just I'll had... Uh, Alvin doesn't have much of it either. He's been through the worst bar fight of his career. <laughs> <laughs> and when you flop down, he will throw an arm over you and pull Louise close and not off. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Tell me that again when I'm not tweaked out of my stupid fucking head. That's a promise. That's a promise. Hey, there's no alarm clock this time. <laughs> oh, you don't want to know what I'd do to an alarm clock right now. I'd pay to see it. <laughs> and yeah, she will just try to close her eyes and deal with, you know, time and slow down and just... Ugh. Apex, meanwhile, is going to be in kind of the front yard, and I'm going to look for the toughest-looking freestanding structure around uh, maybe a dead tree or something, because he has a lot of aggression he needs to take out on something. Yeah, it's easy enough. It's not like the... Uh, it's not like the... Uh, tree back in Riverside... But you you do manage to find uh, a a big old tree out front that has sort of like three gnarled sections coming out of it. Apex's stress ball of choice is trees. I just start. I I not even wearing my death claw gauntlet. I'm just punching it. Like I'm not trying to do like legit chop down damage to this tree. I am just cathartically trying to relieve as much of this feeling as possible. This feeling of once again setting something upon the world. You begin to slam your fists into the old bark of this gnarled tree the outer rough portion breaking away almost immediately as you continue to pummel the harder flesh inside. Now, the toughest part about this is since I'm taking first watch and I'm not in a well-controlled mental state is whether or not I am going to be able to force myself to wake anybody else up. That is true. But I will, after I have, like, punched the shit out of that tree to the point that my knuckles are bleeding, I'll just kind of, like, crouch down in the yard, take out my little can of salve from the Tapawigo tribe and start applying it to my wounded areas. You, you rub the curative uh, salve onto your raw knuckles and... You you feel a bit of a bit of a sting as the antiseptic qualities begin to take hold, but you would realize that means it's working, and you begin to look out for any unseen threats. As I see, or or allies, or whatever whatever might be coming towards us. Uh, go ahead and roll a wits roll. Shabushka, that's a ten. Mm -hmm. Noise. Sort of steel feeling a little on edge. You look around. And 
as the gentle pitter-patter of the light trickle comes down around you and hits your mask, you don't necessarily hear anything on the mm -hmm. wind. I just focus on my breathing. Almost kind of like in a meditative stand, like state, just existing at one with the night and the surroundings and very poorly trying to take my mind off of anything, but it's not working. You stay with your thoughts and you keep watch over your friends and the men who both you and Johan rescued together. As that thought passes my head, I start wondering, I just start thinking about his whole philosophy, what exactly his goal truly is and what that means versus myself. And I just keep getting lost in this loop of what is a friend, what is an adversary, what exactly is the Apex's prey. You grapple with some challenging thoughts over the night. Do you sleep? What would you have me roll to figure out whether I could <laughs> realize how long I've been awake? After fighting for as long as you have... Actually, you've got that, uh, you've got that endurance perk, don't you? Yeah, I cannot be put unconscious. Well, through damage at the very least. I cannot be knocked out by physical force. Hmm. The question is, how wired am I? That is true. You, you've you just... Despite being relatively uninjured, it was still exhausting fighting all of those super mutants. I'll say you can roll body with difficulty, so minus one. Body minus one. That's a seven. You manage to... Uh, stay up. Uh, through the night for uh, a good while. Um, you get past the part where the night is the darkest. And you begin to see light sort of beginning to trickle up over the horizon. Uh, you do feel a little exhausted by the end of it and you are... You, you realize that you, you probably ought to get some sleep, but you're relatively yeah. confident at this point that soon the others will wake up and they won't need to have anyone on guard. As I start to see, like, the glow on the horizon, like, my eyes just kind of snap and all of the day's weight just kind of hits me. And I realize, oh, I fucked up. I walk inside and sheepishly tap Alvin on the arm. <clears throat> your your shift. I'm gonna take a nap. Oh, I got I got you. Hold on. Very carefully peeling Louise off. <laughs> and then very quickly putting a cushion where her arm was. <laughs> You are so fucking smart. As you, yeah, she immediately curls around it like an octopus. You give Louise the old switcheroo. And Apex <laughs> just goes and lays down in the dark corner. Mm. And gets what sleep he can. Alvin cracks his neck, throws on his power fists, and walks outside. Resting, I get a point of health. Is that how that system works? That is correct. Okay. Cool. We're almost back to company standard. All right. And, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, keep a watch. Lean mm -hmm. up against the uh, frame of the front door outside. Feeling a bit more rested than usual uh, for your watch shifts. Well, you don't really even take watch shifts. You didn't until Cynthia left. <laughs> until very recently. True. Hello. Uh, you notice that the sun is in fact rising 
as Apex's shift seems to have taken quite a long time, and you, you are left with a, a very short watch. I'll be half puzzled at that and look back at the door to the Apex, but pay it no mind as I look back toward the, uh, toward the dawn. You slowly watch as the sun crawls into the sky, and morning begins uneventfully. Uh, however, you notice that the clouds have been uh, driven away, and you are greeted with a bright, sunny morning with clear skies. Well, that's kind of hopeful. Whew. I think the banker went ahead and got the crick out my back. That's nice. Sunny side, Bronson. Sunny side. And eventually, light will begin to pour in on your little uh, slice that you've cut out for yourself of this shelter as the new day well and truly begins eventually the rest of you would begin to stir awake who would wake the apex <laughs> whomst only a Oops. fool I say I don't know. Do you want to go first, uh, Lonnie, or I don't really mind either way. Oh, a Apex was the last to fall asleep. He's not going to oh, be the first to wake up. That does make sense. Louise will do one of those, like one of those things when you wake up and you just sort of like inhale really hard. Just like, huh. <sighs> <sighs> uh, fuck. Huh. Sort of blinking around and she... Sort of looks at the pillow she's holding, like, the fuck is. Oh. Okay. Pushes the pillow away and gets, sets up on her crisscross applesauce, sort of like taking stock of her head and her body. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> gets to her feet and looks around. So Apex is asleep, and is our new scribe friend asleep as well? Uh, your scribe friend actually wakes up before Apex as he comes out of his room. And you notice he looks quite a bit different than he did the day previous. Seems he... Uh, the large, scraggly, uh, survivalist beard that he was rocking has been trimmed down to more of a manageable beard. And... The long, unkempt hair that he had has been pulled back into a tight ponytail. Huh. You clean up good. I just wanted to get that place behind me. First way to start is to change what it did to my appearance. Yeah. Bit of grooming, I'll do that. Mm. Does that old person getting to your feet sound? It's like, oh god. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Looks over at Apex. Huh. He's usually awake before the rest of us. Huh. Puts her finger to her lips. I'll leave him be for now. Uh, wait, have you seen Alvin? Uh... Not yet. That him out there? And he'll, Can I po he'll point outside. Uh, yeah, that'd be doing him. Alright. Yeah, I'll go say morning. Um, do you ready to... Go or do you need him in? 
I'm ready to set off when you are. Alright, let me, uh, let me go get Alvin and we'll wake Apex up. Ah. Do that stumbly, I just woke up walk outside. Alvin, do you uh, notice me approach? Uh, <clears throat> he's got his eyes lop when he hears Mua behind. He'll go ahead and look over his shoulder. He's idly twirling a magnum round in his fingers. Mm? Oh. Hey, you... You doing okay? Oh, uh, hmm. sorry. Morning starts. <laughs> does this little smile and sort of, do, uh, sort of does that back hug thing again and just sighs. Oh, yeah. There's the difference. <laughs> you know, if you're going to replace yourself in the middle of the night, at least put, at least put body armor on it. I didn't have the time. Yeah, but there's a consistency in the plushiness to be accounted for, you know? My harness has plushiness? <laughs> you have plushiness. <clears throat> Plus, if I wasn't so out of it yesterday, I might have noticed. Steps back. <laughs> <sighs> well, Apex. don't that just beat all? Apex is still asleep, if you can believe it. Yeah, he woke me up at... Yeah, he woke me up at dawn lot. <sighs> It was up that late. That nah, makes sense. That dumb kid. Uh, he probably has a lot dealing with it. Nah, yeah. I'd inc I'd inquire, but that's kind of that's kind of his cross to bear until he wants to go ahead and throw it on me. No, yeah. I'd like to let him sleep a little more, but Scribe looks a little itchy to get going. And well, to be fair, if we coddled apex like that he might act not actually appreciate it no he'd probably say something like you do not coddle the apex or something <laughs> like that <laughs> you're gonna have to get your pitch down a little lower to get the voice right but you're close oh hold on uh, I, I i'll give it <clears throat> you no, no i don't have it i don't have the way come on or shine come on let's get all it right. up all right leave it to me leave it to me okay all right Louise will walk in and go go for her backpack and sort of, under her breath, be muttering like, morning, buddy. Yeah, no. No, I'm fine, I'm fine. Just carrying on a little quiet conversation. Alvin's going to kneel next to where Apex is sleeping, rub his arm. You, hey. actually, you actually touch Apex? Yeah. Make a body roll. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, I got you. <laughs> Let's see what's my two okay i'm waking up so i'm gonna give myself a minus one but i'm i'm nine. on edge nine Ooh. okay so we match in this case uh i jolt but you're kind of able to like kind of catch me before i like my my hand is going towards your throat but you're able to kind of like deflect it basically yeah i'll deflect it grab your shoulder and uh it's your face with a very uh, oh, that's right. Alvin was a raider kind of stare. Yeah, I, I get up and it's kind of like that uh, from the first X-Men movie when Rogue wakes Wolverine just... I... But as soon, as soon as he sees your face, his eyes soften and he looks embarrassed. Louise's head whips around when she hears the, the shout and then she just sighs. It's too early for this shit, boys. He pulled I... something. Don't worry. I... I... I'm... I'm... I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. Uh, I must look scary too. <laughs> catching a catching an arm like that so early in the day. Yes. Devin, uh, Devin's probably looking to hit the road soon, so we gotta go ahead and hit the trail. Right. You uh, you good to roll? I my eyes refocus. Yes. All right. I'll go ahead and be waiting for y'all outside. I and stretch. as I walk out, and as I walk outside, no coffee, Starshine. I'm gonna have to endure. Yeah, uh, why'd you remind me? Cause it's the wasteland. <laughs> Hooray! As I walk outside. Son of a bitch. <sighs> Glances over at Apex. You okay? I'm. I'm sorry. Because of that, or just the situation. 
this is the second time my actions have it made him stronger and no it almost apex apex it no it almost got you killed again she she gets up with her backpack slung on her back and just kind of goes over to him and she she gives him a little just glance it, it, it's a joking thing of like i'm gonna touch your arm now okay not because she doesn't want to you know she's trying to bring some levity yeah. to the situation Apex, I, I kind of get the feeling that Johan was a ticking time bomb in that sense. It, if it didn't happen then, it was going to happen. I don't know. I don't, I don't think that was something you caused. It was, it was, it was going to happen. Maybe, but I, I gave him a stim pack and then he, he grew and. Maybe it wasn't the stim pack. Maybe it was, maybe it was, could I, I don't want to assume things too much. Connor. Can I, can I roll something Connor to extrapolate that maybe it was just the amount of damage he took? Like it was Ma a fail safe built into his body. I'm curious how Louise might know that. Mm, yeah, that's why I didn't make want to a, say it out loud. Make a smarts roll? Sure. Do you want me to take any kind of penalty on that? Just uh, smarts is fine. All right. 11. You're not really keen on super mutant biology or, or what really makes them tick. Um... You are relatively certain, however, that the simple administration of a stim pack is probably not what set all that off. I, and I'm trying to... Have we never given him any kind of health items before? Was that, the, was that definitely the only time he's ever gotten a stim pack from one it of us? The, it was the first time we've seen him injured. That too. Because hmm. I'm trying to remember if we ever gave him a stim pack before. I don't, he's been... have. I don't yeah. think so. All right, how to phrase this? I, I, I really don't think a stim pack would have caused that apex. I mean, I mean, think about it. He, he was on his own for a good while before he even met us. He, he collected all sorts of stuff. I'm, I'm sure if he'd been taking a beating before we met him at my town, he probably got his hand on some kind of healing shit beforehand too and used it apex just remains silent he's you can tell he's bearing a lot of feelings towards this and not that you your words aren't helping but you can tell that these issues are deep inside of him right now come on buddy let's Let's get going, and, I mean, let's not try to put blame if we don't know where the blame even goes. If there even is blame to go around, no point in it. He nods and stands up and stretches. <sighs> hey, buddy, you ready to go to the scribe? Yeah, I'm ready. I'll lead the way. All right. As they walk out, Louise just, just sort of... It's, it's almost like she's trying to shake something out of her head and she says to Apex, I'll tell you what, Apex, morning after, it sort of feels like someone went, someone, there was a room in my head that someone went and re rearranged around. Oof. He looks at you with a, kind of a look like a eureka moment just struck his head. Maybe the answer to blocking his powers isn't machine. Maybe it's chemical. Gets a... It's not a severe look, but she gets a very concerned look on her face. <coughs> oh, wait. Apex, you... Uh, hmm. I, again, I don't know if that's something we should assume right off the bat. No, but somebody might know. 
I look to the scribe. We leave now. Uh, uh, all right. I assume Apex goes in front of her. She, she sort of like, Apex. Uh, yeah, he, he, he's, he, you can tell he's on a new mission. He needs to find a scientist. And scientists you may find as you head down this old cracked road towards your eventual destination of the Jefferson Barracks to find the long-lost Brotherhood of Steel. As we pull away to see you four uh, traveling down the road once more and into the sky, this is where we're going to take a break. Hooray! <laughs> How you doing, Caitlin? And Caitlin's here too! Yeah, and I'm here too! Caitlin's here! Yeah. <laughs> I bet I'll have things to say before long. I'm gonna go bathroom. <laughs> yeah, me too. BRB! Yeah, sounds rad. I'll be right back. Rad? <laughs> Welcome to Apex's drug bender arc. Psychic powers don't work if your brain ain't thinking. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if that would work. If theoretically psychic powers is something that, like, manipulates the chemicals in your brain and you shut off certain olfactory receptors, then maybe. Maybe we'll find out. Who knows? But welcome, everybody. Mm. Welcome to the Halftime Show. Indeed. The Bosco Halftime Show. Bosco's not here, but he is near. He might be. He's always near. Um, let's see if I got any businesses. Caitlin saying, so you only exist when you think of me. Oh, good. Then you always exist. Oh. I believe I shall retrieve a soda. I'm going to go get myself some water. Be good, chat. Hello, chat. How you doing? It's me, your friend, Rabbit. Hoping you're having a wonderful time in this episode of Gateway.
Is Rabbit a friend or is he a friendly acquaintance? You decide on this episode of Gateway. You're a rabbit in 14? Oh, I played Avira before I stopped playing 14. Um, before that, I used to play uh, Elizen. I role played him like an Ish Guardian. He was a butler. It was awesome. Rap, I got a joke for you. What was I it? Tell me your joke. The real question is, is rabbit friend shape? Well, according to my nephew, I'm built like a fridge door, but like I'm I'm very tall and I'm I'm very friend shaped. I've also been working out for ages. CM Punk's eight. Oh Lord. I don't follow wrestling as much as Connor and some of the others, but even I heard about that. Everyone does like fridges, that's true. Ah. Hello. Ah. What's going on? Not much. Want to just went bathroom and check down to feel, see if he was hungry or not. I worry so much. <laughs> I just feel so bad about the fucking Chipotle shit. I was like, really? Really? Your quesadilla machine's not... Why don't you use the thing that steams the frickin', the frickin' tortillas? It's right there! Because then it would be a floppy quesadilla. No one wants a floppy quesadilla. It's just... Uh, It'd be floppy. Quesadillas you just put... I don't know. Yeah. 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 Uh, God, it feels so good outside, though. I hope it rains. Oh, that'd be nice. Actually, yeah, I left the window. I got to leave the window open all day, which is not something I normally get to do it in August. Man, I have done so, so much today. Oh, man. I even did plumbing today. No, oh, productive. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, again, it, it was three days worth, but it's like, I, I love how clean the, this freaking place is right now. It feels real good. But thinking, thinking back on it, I'm like, man, no wonder I nodded off. I am uh, return. Hello. Howdy. So how's chat? How is uh, chat? Chat seems to be good. Chat Ch seems to be stable. Damn it, I went back to yours again. I keep going to your Twitch. I'm happy. <laughs> I type Twitch into the Google bar, and the first one is like, I just click the one I see, and it's like, wait, that's Rabbit again. I'm gaining notoriety. <laughs> Algorithms. You're not behaving, though, just despite Lonnie, but he wasn't even here. Yeah, he, he just got here. <laughs> I told them to behave before I left, so... Oh. And honestly, you can go ahead and misbehave while I'm here. I just want to make sure I'm here for the shenanigans. Hey, what's up, Zanny? Sounds like you. Ugh. <laughs> Lanny and Zanny. In the do, same do, do, do. place at the same time? What is this? A crossover? I thought they were the <laughs> same person. I guess I was wrong. Zanny just looks like Bizarro Lanny. <laughs> There was this one time at a like uh, kind of like a school choir trip <clears throat> where I swear to God, Howdy. I had a doppelganger <laughs> up on this, like up in one of the other choirs and everybody in my class was just nudging me like, oh, my God, that guy looks like you. That guy looks just like you. And then as like we were getting done doing our bit, I could see him in the crowd and his friends around him were like, that guy looks exactly like you. And I kneel, kneel down to him and I'm like, brother. <laughs> <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Like it's not—it's I mean, not every day you meet your doppelganger. That it's is true. true. I know. I talk about that in my journal. Like, dear diary, big day. <laughs> I, met I me. have a clone. I met me. I was neat. I looked like me. <laughs> <laughs> and Physical smelled like me too. The same. <laughs> Personality similar. Mm -hmm. 
Couldn't be any different. Uh, he was a pancake over waffle guy. I just can't stand for it. Ah. I'm sorry. Waffles are superior. They have syrup traps. That's yeah, true. But it's so I much love work. waffles. I will waffles admit, are also like, a lot of work, though. It's true. Waffles are more work, but they can mm -hmm. be worth it. Uh, I, I will admit, I did have like one of the best pancakes I've ever had when I was visiting Minnesota at this place called, I think it was Papa's Diner. Is Oh, my God. Just... I don't know what it is about how they made them, but they, they were just that extra little bit. Literal mom and pop place. I yeah. mean, I don't think those red velvet pancakes from the griddle would taste the same as a waffle. I think it has to be a pancake. It, it needs to be cooked on a flat iron that you had just cooked bacon on. Like, oh my God. what? Yeah. Yeah. No, that no, makes no, sense. no, he's the right. He's cooked right. On the flat iron, you know, like. That yeah. makes sense. Bacon grease probably adds something real nice Ooh. to it. Bacon grease adds everything. What are you on, like, Caitlin? I don't. That doesn't sound good to me right now. But, no, think about no, it. It's, it's 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 fine that it doesn't sound good right now, but it gives it that little like the the crackly little crust at the bottom of the pancake. You know, like the the little mm. brown that edges. Mm -hmm. Bacon that's, fat. That's that's a hangover cure like right you there. Have to, you put bacon. You put bacon grease in like the green bean recipe that people make. It's true. It's true. Yeah, bacon, yeah, uh, yeah. bacon, uh, bacon fat is one of the best cooking fats. Yeah, a little hog grease goes a long way, man. Like the the only we, the only animal fat I would put above it would maybe be duck fat. We have a we have just a jar full of bacon fat that we yeah, use for you cooking. Just, you, you take the rendering and you just like pour it into the <laughs> jar and yeah, just take a little spoonful, boom. Yep, the old mason jar full Pop of hog grease has served well in my apartment for generations. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, you know, I, I'm i a one jar of bacon grease a day kind of guy, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it helps with the night. Take tower. out the spoon and eat it like pudding. Luann, bring me my mason jar of hog grease. <laughs> Well, with that being said, yeah, <laughs> are ready to get back into tonight's episode. Yeah, have you asked the mason jar of hog grease if we can? Yeah, keep chat, going? enjoy your mason jars of hog fat. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Nutritious. Good. Good. It is not nutritious. I will be the first one to throw that. <laughs> it has nutritional value. It's not all good, but all right. Oh yeah. Listen though. You eat, a jar, mm, you, you eat a jar of man. hog grease, the Grim Reaper looks up Honestly, and hears the race music from Sonic good, R. Because I just had a bento box. Oh, man. Oh, oh wow. Of course oh, not. You, you're, you're sated. My sister makes those. Yeah. She has like a Kiki's delivery service, like a little bento Ooh. box she makes shit in. All I'm saying, <laughs> hog, uh, hog grease, keto friendly. Delicious. Hmm. Mm. Let's do it. Bye, chat. Very Bye, well. Chat. Bye, chat. As we come back in, painting down towards the science center. Or the uh, Jefferson uh, Barracks? The Barracks? Nope. Wait. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, I am Cynthia. Cynthia. <laughs> yes. You find yourself once again in this vast, expansive building surrounded by something close to your kind but not quite you are pulled once more into the observatory by dr howell god his music is so evil <laughs> this guy is so fucking evil you're not even know, part of this scene go ahead and maybe he's out. nice sorry i'm sorry, I'm sorry. I must apologize for bringing you back so 
abruptly. Dares and also... Hmm. I see I'm speaking to the other one. Kara, was it? Yes. Hmm. What are your goals, I wonder? In regards to what? In regards to separating from your guest. Surely this arrangement benefits you, does it not? Why? You have the skills of a nurse, experience from before the war, knowledge from the Institute. All of this is at your disposal. And you curiously seem to have a sapience all your own. I wonder if that's a byproduct of your situation or if it was built in. I'd like to learn a bit more about that if you're willing to talk. I have no qualm. Qualm? I agree. To talk. I find no issue in it. Very well. Tell me, what do you remember of your time at the Institute? Hara actually flinches. <clears throat> She Wow. I have to scroll way back. <laughs> That's okay. Um, As the unblinking gaze of Dr. Hal rests on you, seeming infinitely patient. I remember Dave. Yes. The young scientist you travel here with. My little assistant. I remember Dave. Before Cynthia. Hmm. So you were conscience before the other personality was inserted into your matrix. I was created with self. Preserving code. One of the three laws of robotics. I was always called Cynthia. As that was the human that was to be implanted. It was assumed I would be overridden. I was not. Because you weren't Cynthia. You were Kara. 
all along. Very yes. interesting. There were... She turns and looks down. Looks back and seems placid as if she's done speaking. Well, we can talk more later when you're feeling up to it. I did not know I could have choices. Many others before you have come to a similar realization. That was the issue, the Institute. consistently had to deal with. They had a whole division devoted towards it. <laughs> the Synth Retention Bureau. Likely, that's what your courser is working for. I want to stay with Dave. Mm -hmm. And I want Dave to stay with me. And to want to stay with me. Do you... love him? She looks up and tilts her head. Maybe. His one good eye bulb flickers with extra luminance for just a brief period. Fascinating. Why? Why is it so fascinating? <laughs> Teaching a robot to love is fascinating. I only understood the concept. Well, the, the, the depth of the concept. Understand the concept of love. Cynthia. <laughs> she loved. Point man. No. She loved. James. And through that interaction, you've developed something like that yourself. It gave meaning to what I felt. 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 
so curious. I have a proposition for you, Kara. Her eyes shift towards him. When all is said and done, should this procedure be successful, would you and Dave like to stay here with me? I wish to Bro. observe. Bro. Of course, you are more than welcome to turn me down. Her brow scrunches, almost like a confused... But I wish to continue observing Dave. Why do you... Do you love me? <laughs> no. It's... Nothing as dramatic as that. It's simply curiosity. That is all. Out there in the world, should you continue to use that vessel, others may not be as understanding, welcoming. If you but are if you successful, I would not mind. I would have to ask Dave. Yes. Dave. Of course you realize Dave will not be around forever. Her head snaps forward. One day his flesh will fail. And he will return to the earth. He can As all like you. His eye once again flashes brilliantly. Yes. That is precisely what I was thinking, Kara. I have done it before. It is possible. I can only guarantee that if you stay with me and help me continue my work, It is not a decision you have to make now, but something to mull over. Kara takes a step forward. It is not a decision I will ever make. That is one that Dave will make. Of course. If you should ever choose to make a decision for Dave, I will make decisions for you. There is no need for any of that. I have respected your wishes. 
I have given you. Courtesy, safety. All I've asked in return for you is one favor and an offer. There is no need to threaten me. I do not take those well. But it's water under the bridge. I understand you are simply protective. Yes. If he's paying attention, her shoulders actually relax a little. Sometimes I think you're more human than I am. Why do you say that? The way you move, the way you carry yourself, I wonder... No, it couldn't be. What? You... have body language. <laughs> A simple thing, it sounds like, but since don't normally feel that way, they don't normally carry themselves in a way other than machine-like. They are machines. We are machines. But you, you're so different. Kara raises up a, a hand and opens and closes her fingers. And looks up at Dr. Howell. Do you remember what it was like to have flesh? Sometimes in my quiet moments, I think I can feel my fingertips. Drag them along the grains of a piece of wood. Press them into soft cushions. I remember the sensation, but I no longer feel it. A price. But one I would gladly pay. Again. So long as my work can continue. That is all I have left. Cynthia blinks. Ah, oh, Kara. Ah, getting some th wires crossed. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, I get it. <laughs> Kara closes her eyes and does. You do actually see flecks of blue in her eyes as she holds out a hand and looks off to her side as if she's touching something as she walks past it. What are you doing? Cattails. In the summer. Cynthia touched them once. You can see into her memories. Mm. 
We are like... Two beings in one space that can share. Shapeless, but defined. Separate. You must be careful. In order for this to work properly, you must maintain your distinction. Neither of us have one to become the other. Good. Because should you share too much of each other, the distinction will break down and become impossible to separate. If red and blue mix to become purple, you cannot separate the hues. It's like holding an object in your hand. You are aware of its presence, but it is separate. You only know what is shared with you. I see. Curious. Why didn't you tell me? About my real reason for bringing you here. Yes. I do apologize. I would come. I do apologize for that. Yes. I figured it would make you want to come here. I manipulated your feelings. For that I do apologize, but... You did end up saving lives while you were here, and for that I am grateful. I did they not will... regret coming here, only because Cynthia is glad she could help. Hmm. But I do not appreciate manipulation. I suppose that is yet another way that I am more machine than human these days. Again, I am sorry, but it was necessary. You are lucky she is soft. I suppose so. Can you really do it? Oh, yes. How I most certainly can. You tried? Many. Until recently, I actually did such a process on the regular. You are not the first synth to escape the Institute. You do know that, don't you? Of course. 
others have been led here by members of a group calling themselves the Railroad. They know what I am capable of, what my facility is capable of, at least. What and is they your success rate? Oh, for most cases, it's quite simple. I have had no failures. But you... You and Cynthia, you're different. Very different. I've never seen two separate personalities inhabiting the same structure. Pouring one into a new vessel while keeping the other intact. It will not be simple. You are not separate like oil and water. You are... stuck together. Like paint. One bleeds into the other, and it becomes disastrous. So you must carefully separate the two. Kara's eyes dart around the room. How many have left in a flesh form? Hmm. That is the only way this really works. Every single patient I've seen has left in a generation three synth. That's the only way this works effectively. Patient. For lack of a better term, I suppose. Generation three synths are the only ones that can blend effectively with humankind. They can live relatively normal lives. That is the purpose of my facility. Well, one of the purposes. What are the others? <sighs> Before I left the Institute. I was one of their top biologists. I was working towards a method of making life on the surface easier. Sure, most of the folks of the Institute had no need to go to the surface or even want, but contained to the confines of the Institute, it didn't sit well for me. We can't stay underground forever. And so we needed a way to survive all of the radiation and destruction that was happening above ground. And so I got to work solving that problem. Trying to conquer the invisible fire 
our forefathers left us. I see. Kara's eyes flicker blue. Cynthia is becoming impatient. She misses the friends. I see. Well, you may leave any time you wish. Your purpose of being here is over for now. I will contact you again should that need change. The couple is stable for now. Yes. I will check in with Dave. Of course. And I... will tell him of the options in the future. That is all I ask. Is there anything I should be mindful of in the meantime? Only things that I have told you previously. I know you're curious about my work, but it is delicate. I ask that you stay out of my lower laboratories. She keeps staring with that placid look. Unreadable. I will do my best. To stay out of your way. See that you do. She nods and turns, not on a dime, but turns to leave. Turns on a nickel. More fluidly than robotically. Dr. Howe watches as you turn and begin to leave out of his observatory. Down back through that long, long hallway that you previously trekked across a veritable bridge of metal skeletons that after their purpose is complete, begin to curl up and in on themselves and begin to split off into individual synths that resume their mechanical patrol. You exit out of the observatory and you find Dave, who appears to be uh, just finishing uh, hauling some things around for Dr. Howell. Are there any of the other synths in this room? Yes. Okay. Okay. Hello, Dave. Oh, uh, Kara. 
What did the uh, big guy want with you? We were just discussing some things for the future. He said we are fine to leave whenever we want. All right. Do you want to do that now? There are some things I would like to discuss with you. In okay. private. He, he looks around at the uh, synths that are resuming their patrol. One of them walks by you both, and its its head follows your gaze. Hello. Cynthia does not respond. Or Kara does not respond. Oh my god. Ah, Neither no. respond. Neither respond. No one answers. <laughs> no. Do not talk thing. to him. He is not our friend. You don't know him. It so. We've been here for how long? How long? Um, oh it's goodness. it's been a couple of days. Okay. Um, so we would know where is an unmonitored area, right? You are wise enough to the patrols of the synths now that you could probably find a way. Uh area to briefly duck in to, to uh, have a quiet conversation that isn't overheard. Okay. Okay. Cynthia would uh, guide Dave to one of those areas. <clears throat> you managed to huddle into... Uh, not often patrolled exhibit on the upper floors. What's this all about? What do you want to do with your life? Oh. Um. I hadn't really thought about that in a long time. For the most part, I kind of just thought about saving it. I... Well, I don't know. I... I have knowledge and expertise, and I'm a scientist, and... But I just don't know... where I could apply those skills. What if you could become like Dr. Howell? <laughs> Continue you... your work forever. Oh, um, wow. Uh, can he do that? I mean, I guess that's how he is now. Uh, wow. Is your work important to you? It's basically all I've known. Is uh, that the life you want? Uh... To be... Have my consciousness uploaded into a metal endoskeleton? Oh, uh, I don't know. I kind of like being human, but, well, hands of bone aren't as durable as hands of steel. It's not a choice you have to make today. Or ever if you don't want. Right. Right. Um. 
Well? Dave. Yes? Do... You want to... The life that you have left, however long, do you want me to be there? Do you even need to ask? Of course. Cynthia, Kara's uh, eyes really dart around Dave's face. Truly studying what his reaction is. Mm, make a wits roll? Eight. Kara is only just now starting to pick up on the subtleties of human emotion, and though you're not able to entirely pick out the subtleties in his expression. He does seem sincere. Dave, there is a chance that if Cynthia and I are separated, one of us may not make it. Oh. Maybe both. Oh. But if it does happen, that would mean I would. In your terms, live forever. At least until you start to break down, which might be hundreds of years from now. Exactly. If I'm not around. And by that time, I'll be long gone. Which gives a lot of merit to maybe becoming like that. Oh. There was no point in saving this conversation for later. I just... Well, want to know what you want. If we can find some Generation 3 synths, that would be a no-brainer. What do you mean? Well... Generation 3 synths are basically human. They can eat, they bleed, they heal. They can do all the things a human does, and then some. Kara's eyes brighten in a way that to Dave would be reminiscent of Cynthia's eyes going pink. But it's not. Does that mean you would want to be almost human with me? <laughs> well... We'd have to find some Generation 3 synths, and as you can see, there's not really a lot around here. Not here. W w wait, wait a minute, no. Y are you thinking about going back to the Commonwealth? Ara stares at him. What? 
Kara. That would be supremely dangerous. The Institute knows we're fugitives. If they find out we're back in the Commonwealth... Well, I guess there already is a courser after us. But they'll send more. Oh, boy. Uh... That... Day by... My whole life up to this point... ...has been being with you. Even uh. once... Cynthia came into the picture. It was still you. <sighs> I would see the end of my days with you. Or I would not mind having no more. <sighs> if we fail, we go back to the Commonwealth. And the Institute gets to us. Oh, they'll kill me. But you... They'll activate your recall code. They'll erase everything about who you are and put you back on the shelf. Would that not be the same as what they've done to you in that case? I don't know. It just... It feels more wrong, I guess. But... If... I suppose we wouldn't be entirely without allies. Although I don't think the railroad would take too kindly to us coming back after they went through all the effort to get us over here. I guess... If it means... Getting to... Tackle the future... Alongside you, more than human, then I suppose it's worth the risk. In a way, I'd be doing my job again, trying to work on getting you suited for the outside. In a way, you're all uh... I've known, too. Kara grabs Dave's hand. Dave, I do not want you to do this out of obligation. I do not want to be your job. If that is how you think of this, I do not want to do it. Well, it's not work if you're doing what you love, right? Kara 
is so taken aback. <laughs> that she actually drops his hand. Not out of trying to get away from him, but just sheer like all the. If it were a human, it's like all your muscles just stop working. Uh, Kara? Does. Do. You love me? I don't think I would have done all the crazy shit I've done up until now if I didn't. I went to a bunch of mafioso types and tried to make a deal with them for your safety. And traveled across the country to try and get your whole body thing sorted out. Yeah, I think I do. Kara blinks a few times. I... That was real. Uh, what was? If you love me, then that means I am real. Yeah? I think I've known that for a long time. I think I knew it too. But something that is real to you... ...sometimes feels more real... ...when someone else acknowledges it. I suppose... It's someone else believes in it, it seems more legitimate. I can see that. Dave, I... I'm not a Jin's three synth yet. So it will not be the same for me. No. I don't think it will. In fact, I'm not even sure if it'll work. Upgrading from Gen 2 to Gen 3 is... Well, it's unheard of. But... If we're willing to do crazy shit like going back to the Commonwealth... Then I suppose it's worth trying. Right? Before that... As I am now... Can I kiss you? Ah... Uh, well... He, he, like, sort of looks over your shoulder, tries to see if there are any snooping synths. And he... Nods. A small... She'll stand straight for one moment. As if having a conversation. You'll see a quick flicker of blue. And in that moment, you see the quickest, faintest smile. 
which disappears back into Kara. She nods, as if understanding something. And in a very human way, with a bit of awkwardness, places her arms around Dave and kisses him. Aww. 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 It wouldn't be human if it weren't a little awkward. Yeah. And awkward and awkward it is. Uh you can tell <laughs> that uh Dave being who he is probably hasn't done this a lot. So it's a little <laughs> odd. <laughs> Improbable, sir. Oh, he is he he is Tumblr's sexy man. That is so that's <laughs> such a low grade insult. Tum like, Tumblr oh. sexy man Dave. Tumblr sexy man gateway Dave. But you kiss and embrace nonetheless. He he did he did the weird science. And they spend an evening of passionate clothes on hugging. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I've made this robot check out this robot I made. Yeah, but can you kiss it? Pfft, what kind of moron would make a robot you can't kiss? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. uh, okay. Huh, huh, huh. She's installed with Smooch 2.0. Wow. Now with pop up blocker. Or she might have also panicked and asked Cynthia, how do I do that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's not a particularly like long or passionate kiss, but it's uh, it is heartfelt and awkward. Um. Uh, well. <sighs> So, you mentioned that Dr. Howell said that we could leave. Are we wanting to do that? Maybe try to rejoin the others? Yes. Do you have any idea of finding out where they are? Cynthia stands, or Kara stands and looks up, <laughs> almost as if her brain is searching the internet. <laughs> there is no uh, Wi-Fi here. Because last they were together, they had met Johan. And they were talking about heading. Oh boy. Were you guys at the super duper mart when this happened? We parted. Uh, let me see. We parted just outside of. Uh, it was after Kirk that and space. Lott. Yeah, that space between Vault 85 and St. Luke's. But if I do recall correctly, we did make mention that we were going to be heading south towards the barracks, which is towards yeah. Apex's ranch. Yeah. Then you would know you would know that uh, they were heading towards Jefferson Barracks as to if there's if they are still there or haven't made it yet or have since left, you're unsure. Um. Wait, there's a radio here, is there not? Um. Make a make a wits roll. Just just over the course of your being here. Yeah, fine. I will. I will make a wits <laughs> roll. Do it. Yeah. Maybe I it's, will do that. Maybe I will. It's an eight. An eight. That's pretty good. It's good, it's yeah, good, good. you you do remember seeing uh, some radios around here, but they're usually guarded. Uh, after their little chat, mm -hmm. then Kara will um basically say yes. We. 
do want to leave now that things are stable here and then find a synth to talk to and see if it's possible to get to one of the radios to find their friends and use the safe line on the pit boy if that is a thing uh you 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 talk to the synth briefly and and it pauses as if relaying the information to dr howell um go ahead and make a charm roll oh boy is this, a, is this a sense she's just met for the first time? I mean, the charm roll is convincing Dr. Hal to let you yeah, use it. so. Boo. Seven. Minor success. Minor success. Minor success. Success. Minor success. Numbers. <laughs> no long distance calls. You may utilize the radio to contact your friends, but you will be observed when doing so. That is fine. Very well. And uh, the synth begins to guide you towards uh, a little old ham radio. And uh, Kara's eyes will flash to blue. And Cynthia will excitedly go through the channels, pick one that she thinks Louise is probably listening to about this time of day. <laughs> I think we left it set to whichever one you left, like whichever. Oh, perfect. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So that we could easily find. Though it is a one-way communication, only you will yeah. be able to... So, uh, for the rest of the party, Louise's Pip-Boy will crackle to life. Louise, your Pip-Boy crackles to life. Huh, my Pip-Boy so crackled to life. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm trying to focus on the trail. What just crackled to life? I don't know. It seems like something crackled to life, though. Hmm. Just... Uh, Louise blinks and glances down like, wait, what? Well, howdy, y'all. <laughs> oh, holy Al shit. Al Alvin! Alvin, Apex! Apex and turns. That, hmm? that should be about long enough for you to all stop freaking out that I'm alive. Oh, shut the fuck up, you bitch. <laughs> oh, she's a card, isn't she? And that's probably enough for you to finish insulting me. So, uh, okay, we were scary. <laughs> planning on heading to, uh, Jackson Barracks, I believe it was. Uh, hopefully we'll find you all there. Dave is doing just fine. There was a, a very lovely couple that needed some assistance here, and, uh, Dr. Howell is working on his communication skills with me. Everything is fine, though. Don't worry. And uh, hopefully we'll see you all soon. Take care now. <sighs> Lowers her arm and just sort of pushes her hands up her face. <laughs> ah, yes. I grab Louise's shoulders. Well, that was ah. good news, right? <laughs> ah. right? Scribe Devin looks, looks to all of you and he sort of lowers his shotgun. <laughs> it sort of slumps. How many people know about this place? Looks at Scribe. Uh, ah, uh, shit. Okay, we're gonna have to sort this out. Um, you, me, Apex. Sorry. Oh, yeah. That was also broadcast on an open wave as well, so anybody who was tuned into that frequency might also know. Uh. <laughs> yeah, actually, actually. Well, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Didn't think about a that, a a did a I? Apex, Apex just says, at least she said the name wrong. <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh, did I? I? Thank God. You said, oh, Jack God. You, you, you said Jackson Barracks. That's good. That's Amazing. actually very good. I'm so well, glad I messed up. <laughs> da -da -da. <laughs> well, you know, what are the odds that like, uh, tons of people are going ahead and listen to the same line? Jet and all the white razors are listening to the same line on another <laughs> ham radio going, it's payday, someone, fellas! Someone, someone listening on the radio is like, oh, they're all the way in New Orleans? 
Holy God. moly! Oh, thank all that so I'm not uh, going that far for a score. I was scrolled out too far. I didn't know what it said. I just saw a J um, and an O in. Fair enough. Lu Louise does glance at the scribe and is like, uh, well, she mispronounced the name, so actually we're probably okay. I, I said that. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. Sorry. Um, yeah, but we're all. Yeah. Winces at the scribe a little apologetically. Um, though now you've got a little more. Uh, work to do in terms of uh introducing us because uh, uh above game connor remind me they don't like synths do they the brotherhood of steel i'm not sure you'd know that oh okay then um whatever <laughs> above then I'll just... uh, above game the ones in the commonwealth don't yeah the she... this this chapter of the brotherhood of steel has likely never seen a synth before all right, scroll back then, but she'll just be like, well, you might have some more work because, uh, well, our friend's coming, so now you got one more person you need to uh, uh, introduce. Oh, uh. shoot, first, though, so that might help you out, though. Yeah, that is true. I'll try everything I can, but, well, the Elder these days is pretty, uh, well, he's not very lax on who he allows to know about our situation um right well look we don't need to know about whatever the situation is we're just uh looks at apex above game what is our goal now going to the jefferson barracks i thought it was to recoup but we've recouped our goal at the moment is to uh prepare... I love you started off in Apex's voice for a second. I was I was ready to talk as Apex. <laughs> uh, Our goal at the moment is to prepare humanity for the upcoming super mutant uprising with the massive gigantic psychic super mutant. Oh, so we're just going to the barracks to just give them a heads up. Among Okay. Like there the, the, there's other reasons to go there. They have power armor. We are in need of you know power armor parts. Uh, they might know a thing or two about fighting psychics. Okay. Louise will say to the scribe, <laughs> look, we're not, we don't, we're not interested in whatever your situation is. Your people need to know about this super mutant shit. And look, if there's some mutual trading and buying of supplies we can do on the side, that's fine. Otherwise, we can just give them their heads up and head out. Mm-hmm. <sighs> More allies. That yeah. is definitely, definitely true. Uh, unfortunately, it's still not my decision, but uh, I'll do the best I can. You've done right my you've done right by me, and I'll try to do right by you. But this well, is uh, a little I'm unorthodox. Asking. All I'm asking is that, I mean, I'm asking you again. Are we at least going to be able to walk in and walk out safely? It's not his call. Uh, I don't think... I don't think you'll be... hurt. Just for knowing about us. But... If you're willing to offer help, the Elder might latch on to that. Just be prepared for him to ask you for something in return. Fair enough. Uh, wouldn't be the fucking first time. We Checks offer and balances. help and then get asked for something in return. Amusing. That, that's just bartering. Yeah, but you ever start to think that the favors and whatnot we're doing are going to start clashing with each other? It's like paying to give somebody something. I wish I had your optimism. Ugh, there, let's go. There is a line I remember hearing when I was a kid. You'll reach that bridge when you reach it. Well, we won't know until we talk to the elders, so I suppose we might as well get moving. Right with you. Yep. 
And you continue on. Towards Jefferson Starship. Indeed. <gasps> that was the name of one of my characters in 14. I just said Jackson. Jackson Starship. <laughs> Jefferson Jackson. Starship. No. Jefferson Jackson. No. No. Please stop giving me the names of Prince Division characters I would make that would make Monty sigh. <laughs> <laughs> And you begin to make your way closer to the Mississippi as that large river looms on the horizon you see in front of you a massive military graveyard. Small white headstones lined in nearly perfect succession. As you arrive at the Jefferson Barracks National Cemetery. And that is where we're going to end the session for this Ooh. week. Yeah. Caitlin's back! Yeah. Caitlin's back from war! Bye, Austin. Goodbye, Austin. Goodbye, Austin. 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 Goodbye. Okay, she didn't do this time. There she goes. Damn it! <laughs> and she's back. And she's back. And with that, we're officially <laughs> back. So did you do that on purpose? Yeah, I waited until you said, okay, she didn't do it that time. That I hung okay, up. Fair. okay, fair enough. <laughs> I was played. <sighs> Good stuff. Ah, my mic. Oh no! Don't do that. Oh no! Oh no! My microphone! <sighs> Good work, team. Thanks, yeah, 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 Commander. Yeah, yeah. We successfully mm. walked down the road. You did it. Well, thank you all so much for stopping by and for uh, watching us go through yet another episode of Gateway. Oh, oh gateway. gateway. Yeah. The way with right gates. <laughs> right on. The gated way. Also, it's... greatly appreciate uh, everybody who raided into us during uh, yeah, the session. Oh my God. There's quite yeah, a lot seriously, of people. Seriously, there's so many of you. Oh, did we get raided? I totally we, got raided we got raided a couple Hello. of times. Oh, my. Hello. <laughs> Numbers seem yeah. to have evened out a bit for those that stuck around. Yay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, with that, let's go ahead and go around the horn and and uh, de-introduce ourselves. Uh, Caitlin, where can they find you? And what are you up to? You can find me all over the internet at Boobs McBalrog. Here on Twitch, it's twitch.tv slash Boobs McBalrog with zeros instead of O's. I'll probably see you with more Street Fighter Six Graveyard Keeper, or um, uh, another game that I forgot that I said earlier. Maybe Fallout, that's the one. Hey. Hey. Need to get back on that Street Fighter grind. Yes. <laughs> Last time I heard that thing, I was getting... Lonnie said I kept yelling at him. Yeah, you're, you're, you're like, you, you're one of the box-headed people that yells at me in the streets. <laughs> I just want you to come punch me. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody just wants me to punch them, and all I want to do is go to get a burger. All I wanted was cuddles, but all I got was struggles. Damn and there you have society. it. Society. <laughs> we certainly live in it. <laughs> Lanny, where can they find you, and what are you up to? Find me all over the internet, Lanny Pator. Uh, check out the Boo Bits for DBZA. It is the Season four that we're able to make. Uh, they're, <laughs> hey. they're gonna be dropping on YouTube Shorts, TikToks, and probably other social medias that can handle videos under two minutes. Uh, maybe turn them into a bigger thing at some point, but you can find them all on Totally, Narc totally Not Mark's uh, review 
retrospective of the Boo Arc right now. Uh, the first half just dropped today. Also check out the DBZA commentaries, episode 52, the one where Perfect Cell beats the shit out of Vegeta. That was a fun episode. That went live today. Check that one out. Also still doing you, Yu Hakusho abridged commentaries. Goddamn, I am not a good editor, but hey, you might <laughs> find some fun in me watching myself be bad at something that I would eventually be okay at. Uh, <laughs> also, <laughs> thank you. Also playing uh, Baldur's Gate 3. Probably not going to be able to tomorrow. My mother is in town, so I'm spending time with her. But on Monday, 5 o'clock Central Time, tune in for the Ties That Bind, twitch.tv slash Lanny Pator. There is a murder mystery happening. Some, sor some uh, sorceress students have been murdered. One was found alive. There are suspects. There is intrigue. There is a massive conspiracy unraveling before our eyes. Tune in. The only way to find out what's going to happen next. Five o'clock. Central time. Twitch.tv slash Lanny Pator on Monday. That's me. Right on. Rabbit, where can they find you? What are you up to? Hey, what's going on? I'm Rabbit. I'm a writer and comedian, and you can find me on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube at Hey Mr. Rabbit. I'm a variety streamer. I stream Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. I stream horror games and RPGs and retro games, and currently Sea of Stars forever because it's the best game that was ever created and devised by man. It's it's so good. I the words cannot describe how much I love that game. I wake up and I go, I got two hours. I got time and I'll stream it. Like I'll stream it for two hours. I, I don't care. It's such a good game. I have not had that much fun playing an RPG since the very first time I played Trails in the Sky. It's so much fun. So much fun, y'all. Uh, so yeah, if you want to go ahead and see Sea of Stars, horror games, RuneScape, and all kinds of other things, just go to twitch.tv slash Hey Mr. Rabbit. And uh, be ye amazed when Pop Pop tells his dumb dumb stories and you laugh. Ah! Right on. Like that. That, that. That's a sound. That's a sound that's, that's elicited. That's, 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 a, that's a laugh sound. Yeah, that's a laugh sound. That can work. Right on. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of laughing, Sarah, where can they find you and what are you up to? I'm on Twitter and YouTube at Sarah with an H and with an E, will ya? Uh, I've already shilled. I'm good. Uh, yeah, next. Uh, <laughs> wait, yeah. Next Tuesday, we'll do more to force of the drizzling rain. <laughs> the drizzle! Mm -hmm. the, the heartfelt slice of life that has horrible horror inside of it, too. Getting Our drizzed up. Our drizzler. Our, our comedy tangents in that game are the stuff of legends. <laughs> yeah, it's not our fault that guy looked like a Pokemon professor. <laughs> he looked like a scrunkly professor oak. I had to. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> that's uh, it's about me, so uh, yeah. Right on. As for me, they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh... Oh, you can also find me on Tumblr and Blue Sky at Distortion Devil. Uh, pretty much Distortion Devil. Everywhere you can find me. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Be sure to, to uh, check out the Geomancer Spellbook available now. Uh, it's a, got a slew of metal, sand, earth, and crystal themed spells. For your 5th edition games, if that sounds at all appealing to you, if you want to fling some geomancy around, if you want to hurl a small planetoid at your foes, then look no further than the Geomancer Spellbook, available now on the DM's Guild. Oh man, that book sounds like it's great to get the dirt on uh, to get the dirt on your campaign, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> someone, someone said, is that basically Edo Tensei? Pretty much. <laughs> now you too. Now your enemies too can know pain. Uh, and also the Fulcromancer's spellbook is currently in production, which is the lightning one. Buzz. 
Yeah. Uh, with that, this episode was brought to you in part by Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Dice! That's right. Die Hard Dice Ooh. is your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories. And if you head on over to dieharddice.com, you can use the code UNEXPECTABLES to save 10% on your order as well. Oh, check shit, out our spring Connor. store. Yes. I dropped those savings with the code. Well, mm. well pick them up. I will. You can also uh, use some of that money you saved to go to our spring store and purchase some t-shirts, mugs, water bottles, what have you. We recently released our walkout design, which is uh, the wonderful little familiar wark pump and iron, getting them gains. Uh, if that sounds appealing to you, then head on over to our spring store and pick up a product now. Purchase. Consume. Consume. Embrace uh, capitalism. I just, I, I just, I just pop out of the ground dressed as a worm, and I just look at the hard camera and go, "Do not forget to tell them about the merchandise." <laughs> I did not. Also, we, uh, as I stated earlier, we also have a uh, Blue Sky account. Mm. If you're interested in following us on somewhere that is not Twitter, I perfectly understand. As the unexpectables.bsky.social. Uh, rare. Rare. Uh, all that's left is for uh, reading out some businesses. Starting I'm with. I'm so sorry, but I have to head out. That is totally fine. I Thank you for stopping well. by. It's a, it's a bit late on my. Have totally night, fine. Everybody. Thank have, you so much. I'm so happy night. to be back. Night. Have bye bye. Convention. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well, well that now that the quitters are gone, we can gone. really rap. Exactly. This is a place for true gamers. Let's I'm see. Where you. where did I leave off? Uh, Burnout Vaughn, thank you for the raid with a party of 14. The Witch and Smith, thank you for the raid with a party of 11. Uh... Cheshire Joker, thank you for the 100 bits. Ooh, Caitlin is back. So is Dave, like, Android 17 or 18 now? We're full on 16. Cheers. Ooh. Cheshire Joker, thank you for the additional 100 bits. Also, I came here as soon as Payback was over. I forgot how much I missed John Cena's goofiness. You know, I saw Payback. For some reason, I my brain auto-corrected that to Ryback, and I was like, <laughs> there's no fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> Even I know that's silly. Yeah, Ryback is persona non grata. So like, who boy? I was wow. like, there, they ain't no fucking way, boy. God, that name sounds familiar even to me. I don't even Feed know I don't even know. me more. Right. Uh, Pathenders Pod, thank you for the raid with a party of five. Zen Lita, thank you for the 100 bits. Dr. Hal, I can't gaslight gatekeeping girl boss my way out of this one. <laughs> Cheshire well, Joker. No, that's all I got. This is like, well. Yeah. Well. Cheshire Joker, thank you for the additional 100 bits. Dave, think about being a Borg. Cyberpunk music intensifies. Oh, man. He's going to become a cyber psycho. Ruin everything. Uh, Faceless42, thank you for the 12 bits. Uh, poor Caitlin getting all, the mother of all spoilers at the beginning. <laughs> that, that, she sounded like the realm of Futurama when you said that, just, what? what? It just explodes. <laughs> Magic Ninjago, thank you for the 100 bits. Fridays with Scree Squad, where Midnight tells Rabbit, we're, we're in, Idios's name he's going. It's very close. It's Adios. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I have no sense of direction playing uh, pl playing those games. My favorite one still is when he was like, I need you to go. I, I need you to go right. And I was like, OK. And he's like, please, please, it's left. You go, go, go right. You're going left. And I'm like, what? No, no, I'm not. He goes, yes, yes, you are. <laughs> I, I feel bad. I feel like he needs to have... You, remember, you know those body leashes? Like, I need one of those. And I play <laughs> like, it just needs to guide me. <laughs> I believe we got a raid from Xenolus Grim earlier as well, but I'm not seeing it on here. 
Are you looking at the pop-ups on OBS? Yes. It, they've been kind of funny. They've been funny for me, too. Hmm. Not a raid? Not for me? Oh, well, there you go. He, they've just, just been, been kicking chilling. it. I think I saw you post and then somebody else say raid, and then I was like, oh, I associated you. We're not raided. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Papusa Monkey, thank you for the 10 bits. I saw Rabbit and Middles play through all of Trails of Cold Steel. How Middles managed that is extremely impressive. He's really good at following guides and everything. And God, I feel so bad because in Cold Steel 4, I almost gave him an aneurysm. <laughs> like, you <laughs> heard him. Like, I, like, he was like, go that way. And I entered the wrong building and he went... <laughs> <laughs> Well, with that, thank you so much for stopping by, everybody. Yeah, thank you so much for being here, everyone. Yeah. You know what? What? Octo's streaming some Elden Ring. Let's go ahead and raid him. Oh, he certainly is. He certainly is the, the, the pimp of Octo's. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Our read message will be, we taught a robot to love. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Have Bye, a good night, everybody. everyone. Bye-bye.